<sighs> Son of a beach ball. What the heck? I'm sure this was working yesterday. I know I didn't imagine that. Yeah, so this doesn't work anymore. Hey everybody, check out my new mop sorter. It works awesome for one day. Cutting edge technology for one day. And now we're at 1.3. And the mob behavior's got changed and now it doesn't work anymore. But, not to fear. I think I'll be able to rebuild it. Wait, did I switch this? Nope. Alright. So, this is kind of strange. Mob behavior changed. And remember I told you not to build it this way. Uh, what is this? Don't build it. I said don't build it east to west. And now north to south doesn't work or whatever. And now east to west does. So I built this little tunnel thing as a test. And before the mobs used to freeze when they would see you when you were in this tunnel. Alright, here's a zombie. So before he, they used to freeze as soon as they would see you. And now they'll come after you. So, kind of interesting. Whoa! And so I thought if I built it east to west, it would work again. So that's what exactly what I did. Built an exact copy. And it doesn't work either, because they freeze when they get to the first pad there. They don't charge after you. And I think the reason is because it's high off the ground. This is my theory. I think the mobs freeze because their pathfinding senses that they're high above the ground or something and so they freeze instead of charging. So I think if I place a fake ground under this thing, it'll work. But I'll have to try that later. So I'm a little bummed out this doesn't work anymore. But I'm confident it'll I'll be able to get it working or someone else will. Um, the mobs still behave the same way. Skeletons still go left and creepers still go left. There, so there's no reason uh, it won't be possible to get it working again. Might have to change a few things. But I'm sure it's possible. But other than that, I am actually really... Uh, psyched about this new 1.3 patch. I think it's it's probably my favorite patch yet. It's awesome. Um, you guys know I don't use any mods or anything or invent it or anything like that. But I have been so tempted to download that Better Light mod forever. And I was actually going to do it after the 1.3 patch and then I saw it's actually included in the 1.3 patch so that is totally awesome I am really happy with that I think it looks great and not only that we got all these new gadgets to play around with and yeah I've been playing around with them a bit and we should spend some time doing that. Let's see. Let's get out our 
torches. Get some of our redstone. Some repeaters. If you guys don't already know how to make one of these repeaters, it's pretty simple. Wait, yeah. I forgot for a sec how to do it. And I think that, yeah. That's how you make a repeater. Very interesting little things. Um, let's see. Let's get this started. This is one thing I made. The light kind of just flashes on for a brief second and then it's out. Not really useful. So... One thing... I found very useful with these is you can now make uh, different clocks that are a lot smaller. Like before, if you wanted to make a five clock, you had to do something like this. And it was huge. And I'm building this because we're going to do a test. So yeah, that's about as small as you can make. I'm sure you can make it a little bit smaller, but that's about the size of a five clock. It's three by five by two. Um, oh wait, I'm supposed to be on hard. And... So I was playing around with this. The smallest five clock I was able to make was place your repeater, place block in front, torch. Yeah, I think I did that wrong. Yeah, I did that wrong. Reversed. and torch behind. Burns out at that setting, go one more. It also burns out. Go one more, and it works. So I think, that's actually one thing I wanted to check. I think, uh, yeah, so this is a two by three way smaller and it's adjustable too it's a little bit slower now I think each of these uh, it's got four settings this repeater thing one two three four I think uh, the one two three four represents torches and not ticks so two ticks four ticks six ticks and eight ticks so I think right now it's actually at 4 o'clock at this setting. It should be blinking slightly faster than the 5 o'clock here. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, each of these represents a torch. So now it would be a 5 o'clock. Because that's 4 plus the 1. So now they should be blinking at the same exact... Yeah no difference and so if you want to make it another if you want to make a slower clock uh, you'll have to make it a little bit bigger you can add one there in the back. There. So 
now it's a two by four, but we have three of these things. And so that allows us to make up to a four, a four clock up to a, what is that? Four, eight, 12, 13. We can make up to a 13 clock and we can make it bigger if we want it even slower. So that's pretty compact. I saw on the forum someone made a, I think it was a one clock. The way that works is, and sorry if this doesn't interest you, it kind of, it interests me. Yeah, so, these are set at one. You place the torch and then remove it. And I think that's one clock. Maybe it's a two clock. And that won't burn out, but if you leave the world and come back, it's not it's gonna be stopped. So the only way to get it going again I think is to place a torch and remove it. If you hook a button up to as a reset, it won't work. It just gets stuck on. But pretty cool. I'm liking these new things. They're going to make things a lot simpler for me. I want to redesign the either imps variable timer using those. I'm sure it can be made a lot smaller now. And oof. Let's see. I did this. I learned something new too when I was playing around with these things. So if you place, my game's getting all laggy here place a dispenser, it does nothing. If you place a torch near it, it starts ticking. So if there's power near it. So I didn't know this, but if a dispenser is facing a solid block and you put something in it, it actually shoots it through the ground, upwards. Which is pretty interesting, I didn't know that. And if you place a block above that one. It like places the items into the ground actually. Oh, I guess you can pick them up. And then if you destroy the block, they all kind of pop up like that. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. So one other thing I wanted to talk about, um, kind of a delicate subject, money. I wanted to talk about money, that green stuff. Or if you live in Canada, like I do, we have, as uh, my American friends call it, the uh, funny colored Monopoly money here. Um, so, so yeah, about money. Some of my viewers have wondered why I am not a YouTube partner yet. And I would like to be. I actually applied, I think, two or three weeks ago. And my it's still being processed, so 
I pretty much got ignored. Don't think anything's gonna happen there. And... Actually, I think... I don't think it's legal for them to accept me as a partner for the type of videos I make. I think it violates some kind of copyright because I'm posting videos of a game I didn't make. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. So yeah, nothing's happening there. And I think the only way you can actually get paid for making videos like this on YouTube is from Machinima Realms. And someone actually contacted me from Machinima Realms that's affiliated with them, not actually from Machinima Realms. I think they are a director and they offered they offered um to sponsor me which uh is like the first step he said to becoming affiliated with Machinima Realms. And then later he said he contacted his team and they agreed that I could become a paid sponsor. That that I could become a paid sponsor. So there's a chance I might uh, make some money that way. I don't exactly know all that's involved or if I'm going to be accepted yet or anything like that. It's, it's still in the works. Why is my game lagging? Yeah, so I actually uh, watched the movie The Social Network the other day. It's a movie where about the youngest billionaire in the world who made Facebook. And it's got uh, me thinking about different ways I could maybe make money from the internet. Um, not that... Uh, I love playing Minecraft and uh, I love making videos for it and I love the response you guys give me with my videos but you know if I could find some way to make money from playing Minecraft too that would be like the icing on the cake that would really make my day um so yeah I think it was yesterday I was watching one of uh co-stars uh, videos from his LP series. He's one of my favorite LPers for this game. And I noticed he had a link in his description for donations. Like people that watch his videos sometimes donate money to him for making his videos. Which I think that was kind of interesting. I usually don't pay any attention to those things, but I noticed his link to his website, and I really didn't think anybody actually donated. But when I went to his website, he had like a list of 50 names of people that have donated um, just for making Minecraft videos which made my jaw drop and one guy even said he donated a hundred dollars which is quite amazing um, I know I'm not co-star but I thought hey I might try it too so I'm going to start putting uh, donation links in my videos in the video descriptions to uh, it's really hard to talk and build this at the same time. But uh, I'm going to put don a link to donate to me in my video descriptions from now on. And don't feel compelled. Like, you don't have to. I'm not going to stop making Minecraft videos if you don't do it. I, I love making Minecraft videos. But, you know, if you want to show your appreciation that way, I would absolutely love you for it and you would really make my day. 
What am I doing here? Two, three. Just that brain lake. No. And yeah, so I don't feel compelled to do it. Just do it if you want to. Yeah, I'm kind of doing it as an experiment too because um, I'm actually working on a computer program right now that I think it is a really good idea. Um, it's a unique program. Nobody's ever made anything like it before. And I would like to earn money from it somehow. Um, but I don't think I can really... I don't think it'll work if I charge people for it. Because um, people are just going to pirate it anyways. And... It's just going to be... It's just going to annoy people if I charge money for it. So I'm curious to see if anyone will donate to my Minecraft videos to see if... That's actually a good way of making money. Because I was thinking about making a website for my program and then uh, setting up a donation link and making money off the program that way. Alright, she's almost done here. Um, I forgot, I wanted to point something else out with these uh, repeaters too. There's a weird quirk with them. Let's see. Set up a block. And a repeater here. It doesn't uh, change the state of this torch. And there's even one wire here. Which is kind of weird. If you have it right next to it, it doesn't work either. <laughs> um, okay, it does work. Never mind. If you make it too long, though, then I think it works. The wire. Yeah. Well, if it works, if it's right next to it, I might as well change this. Now that I have my foot in my mouth. Beautiful. So yeah, this is my uh, mini vertical cannon design. Um, got the button here, goes to the boosters, wraps all around the boosters, and this is a very cheap way of doing a variable timer system. I'm still going to try to do the binary method, like in uh, either imps timer. This torch is off. And haven't tested it out yet. So this would be 10 torches plus 2, 12 torches. Come on, cow, I dare you to hop into the center. And hopefully this thing doesn't blow up. The TNT goes there, the torch lights the TNT, and it shoots up. Hopefully. Woohoo! Cool. 
And that's the first cannon I've made in this uh, LP, I guess. You should expect to see a lot more of those in the future. And yeah, this is a mini cannon. It doesn't have a whole lot of power. This might actually make it blow up. So I've added an extra nine torches. Or 18 ticks. Cool. Yep, still in one piece. Until I fell into it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap the episode up here. Um, donate if you want. No pressure. And hopefully I made the donation link properly. I had to uh, take the HTML code for the donation button and I manually converted it into a hyperlink. So... Hopefully it works. I had to manually piece it together. And hopefully I got it all right. And, um... Yeah, I'm gonna... Work on our world some more, and then... Oh yeah, I'm sp and I'm gonna keep making those uh, mob system tutorials. And then we'll probably do another LP episode, so... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.